so let's go ahead and install um, the slot for our servo this will be the elevator servo that goes in the canard um, so you just need to find your uh, uh, find a canvas I've just downloaded this one over the internet um, failing that you can just make some measurements of your own that's not visible at the moment so let's make it visible and click OK and then kind of edit the canvas move it to roughly the right spot but we won't worry too much at the moment and kind of turn it through 90 degrees Okay, and now we're going to uh, zoom in. And uh, what's really handy about this is uh, we can calibrate it just using the numbers that are on it. So that's uh, 31.8. And then we move it into position again. So now I, this is the wing join, so you want to give it a little bit of space and then uh, I think if we have it up, no, we don't want to go up there too much because we want to stay away from the uh, carbon spar. And then that will give us some space then and little bit of space to be able to move the rod yeah I think we have it like that might be a bit better okay so Next thing, um, we need to make a uh, click the sketch button, but actually we don't want to sketch, we want to make a profile to begin with. Let's just get out of this. Right, there we go. Go, and then we're going to make a sketch on that one what have I done there I've moved it cancel the sketch edit the canvas Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to go slightly bigger than the sketch here. Uh, make sure it's room has some room uh, for us to get our uh, servo in. Okay, so in terms of depth, um, we want to have this, the two, um, what are they called? Uh, tabs buried in the wing, and then we don't mind if this bit's sticking out of the wing somewhat. Um, so we want really a depth of uh, 8 point, I think that's 8.22. 22.8, <laughs> makes more sense. Uh, once we hit the skin of the body, so so 
Okay, let's just see what distance it is that we hit it. Okay, and then we want to add 23 onto that. Um, so it's going to be 31. Okay, and then we need to see if our wing is deep enough to handle that. Which it appears that it is. So that's good. So that is going to bury it about 22.8 down and it's going to leave this bit sticking up which is then going to go to the wings. So we can probably go a couple of uh, a couple less so maybe if we go uh, 29 just to make sure there's a bit of uh, wing, spit, wing skin on the top of the wing and we're not cutting it too fine. Okay so we'll click OK with that and back into these sketches bring this one back So we, we went down to uh, 8 to touch it, and we went 22.9, we went 29, so 29 minus 8. So we've gone 21 down from there, and so that's going to leave just the top sticking up, basically. And 16.1. So if we minus 16.1 from that, we get 4.9. Could we call that uh, 5? If we go down 13. that should be able to slot our servo in and the tabs should have enough room to get in uh, there and then what we'll do is we'll build the uh, control horn on here it can either be an integral part uh, or it can be a glue on part I don't think we're going to need a huge amount of movement of this um, control surface anyway and then just to take a little look uh, where we've cut I turned this into, I did, I turned it into a uh, component. There we are, we're away from the spar, so that's given us some room there. But, of course, we do need a channel for the uh, wires to run through, so now it's time to sort some kind of channel. Um, what you could do if you're building your own and you've got some um, wing connectors is you could build in wing connectors that go in here, so that when you just slot the wing in, it automatically connects. That'd be pretty cool. We're going to go a bit lower tech than that, and I think we're just going to have uh, a cavity um, that we can pass the uh, wires through. So, this will be the place to start. Uh, if we look at the map, get the wires going to come out on most of mine, this side. We'll make a sketch on here. going to project and the bit I'm going to project is that bit okay so that is where our servo is sitting and then we're going to I'm going to do the cutout here Basically, one by one and a half, that should be enough to get uh, a servo through or a servo wire through. Now what 
we're going to want is we're going to want to have it come out here basically now anything coming up like this up to the top is going to be harder to print because there's going to be bridges if we can have it coming out here maybe we can reduce the number of bridges that uh, we need to make so we're going to construct a planar angle and we'll go off there And I'm going to sketch on here. Let's get some of my green line. Make sure you can see a bit better. A bit like that. Probably see where we're going with this. As we did before, I can make it a new body for now. And I'm going to create a mirror. We want bodies. That one there. That's the mirror. Okay. This time, keep the tools. Okay. And then bring up these two. See how the tool goes in there. So we can do the same. Keep it anymore. Okay. Nice one. There we go. So now we can connect the wings up. We can connect the uh, servos up. We need to copy this wing over because I just realised I haven't done that there. So that's fine. And later on, we just do a, just do a mirror um, to get the right piece, and then we can put uh, a screw in here that's going to go through the two carbon spars, the thicker one that will be glued in place into the one that will sit inside, and that should secure the wing. And then to stop the wing from turning, um, I had an idea that we could actually use an extension of. Uh, the uh, hinge that we're going to use for the elevator so we'll slot both in and that will stop the wing from moving up and down yeah cool so I might yet make that out of a thicker material maybe we do like a one and a half mil carbon if it's going to have a structural uh, a 
effect. There we go. That's how we're going to do the uh, servos. So, as we said, I'm going to considering using a, a piece of smaller carbon tube in here to uh, stop the wing from moving. Um, so, what I've done is I've gone back into the the uh, tools section. I found my elevator hinge, which was here, and then I've just set about uh, making it bigger. So just to finish off the nose then, a final thing, we need to uh, find the sketch that we have for the motor dimensions and now that we've shelled the uh, nose we can make some cutouts of the spindle and then uh, a spot for the uh, wires to get through. Cool, so we have our servo channels, we have a cutout for the motor And we have a connected wing. Cool, so we have our servo channels, we have a cutout for the motor, and we have a connected wing.